The ARC MIDI R2 by Fractal Design features massive airflow and highly flexible liquid cooling support. Click now to learn more. Well, I guess it was a matter of time. Someone was going to take the whole portable power bank thing for your cell phone or your tablet or whatever, and they were going to say, well, it has a battery in it already. I guess it might as well do other stuff. So A-Data has brought us the AE400, which is <clears throat> a wireless storage device, portable battery backup, as well as it, if I could get this plastic sealed. Yeah, there we go. All right. So it allows you, it is a card reader. It is a wireless data storage device as well as a power bank all in one. So before the first time you use it, wow, look at this user guide. It's like a bajillion pages. This better have like 16 languages in it. Uh, please charge for eight hours before using. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 languages in it. All right, well, I'll give them a pass on that. So the device itself is actually reasonably small considering that it's a 5,000 milliamp hour portable charger. There you go. It has a single SD card reader right there. Then it also has a button on the top, a USB port for charging this guy, and then an additional USB port as an output for charging other things. So I definitely understand why they have a bit of a beefy manual because there are some intricacies when it comes to using a device like this that's very all-in-one, but actually only has one button. They've taken the Apple approach of one button is good enough for everything you need to do, but there's no touchscreen. So basically, here's, here's how it works. The one button is right here integrated into the pattern on the top of the device, which is actually kind of nice looking, although maybe a little over the top for the more manly of our viewers. There is a battery indicator here that is red, orange, or green, depending on battery life. As long as you're over 50%, that'll be green. And then there are little LED indicators that show you what functionality is enabled at any given time. So right now we are in wireless transfer mode, which is actually kind of cool. You download the Dash Drive Elite app, and let's face it, it is not as feature rich as some of the other competing products that are dedicated like media streaming devices like the Corsair Voyager Air, for example. But what it does do is it allows you to very simply, so I'm connected to the Dash Drive Air through Wi-Fi, and it's just uh, all the default settings are documented in the manual, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And then you can use it as a pass-through to connect up to 10 devices to it at a time and still have internet access. So I'm connected to it, and then basically all I do is using either USB or an SD card, either of which is fine. You go to Air Elite, and it just gives you a directory listing of all your files. So you can do, oh, I think I'm, yeah, I already scrolled down because I was using this before. So you can um, open up something like a Word document or PowerPoint, should you see fit. So here's a, here's a PowerPoint from an episode of Netlinked Weekly. That's just gonna open up right there. So we can go ahead and presumably, yep, yeah, there we go. Just go back. Navigation's a little funny, like back here will take me out of the app, so you use up here to navigate. I think this is because they use the same UI for iOS as well as Android, which is um, not really recommended, but I mean, it seems to be working. What's, uh, oh, no, continue playing, so we'll, we'll play this again. So what's great about the Android version is because Android actually, with third-party players, is able to support a pretty wide variety of media formats. You can even play videos directly off of the USB drive that's plugged into the Dash Drive Air. Uh, AE400, which is a complicated name for the product, but whatever. Um, on iOS, I didn't have quite as much luck with that because the formats are a little bit more restrictive, but you can see the app works in much the same way. So there's the whole file transfer thing, but it does more than that, of course. So you cycle through the different modes by clicking the button, and it's going to take you a little while to get the hang of what the different indicators mean. They're not that easy to see. Um, but pretty much what you can do, <clears throat> you can wirelessly read and transfer from USB, or from SD, you can use it as a power bank, you can use it as a wired SD card reader, so that's simply by plugging it into the computer the way that you normally intuitively would, and it'll charge while you're doing that, and then just plugging an SD card in. And then, last but not least, it is, uh, wait, I think, I, think that's, I think that's it. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around all the stuff it does. Share a wireless hotspot. That wireless data transfer, so there you go, guys. No real frills, no gimmicks, but it's, these devices are getting more and more integrated, and I think it's cool.
Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, and leave a comment if you could see yourself buying an integrated device like this versus something that's just a power bank or just a mobile media sharing device or whatever else. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it or dislike it if you hated it. Both of them are fine.